In the previous movie, we took a battery design that we've created and we used it to replace the columns in a column chart. Now let's take a look at a line chart where we already know that these little squares are called markers. But we've already defined another design which actually shows the image of a sun and we want to use that sun graphic instead of these little squares here for the markers. So to do that, I'm going to select this graph right here. I'm going to go to the object menu, scroll down to where it says graph, and now I'm going to choose marker because I want to apply a marker to this graph. In order for me to do this, just remember that I must have first defined my design using the design setting. So I'm going to click on marker. Now I'm going to choose marker sun and click OK. And now you can see that wherever those data points are, the sun now appears. By the way, just so you're aware, if you have several different data series inside of a chart, you may want to have one graphic as a marker for one data series, but a different graphic or a different design applied as markers for another data series. If you're working with that, you can't just select the entire graph because Illustrator won't know which data series to apply that marker to. So what you would end up doing is switching to your direct selection tool and then simply clicking with the Option or Alt key down to basically select that entire series. All you're basically doing is selecting all the squares or rectangles for just one data series. And then you would choose the same options. Go to the Object menu, go to Graph, and then choose Marker. And then when you do that, the marker that you define will only be applied to the specific data series that you've selected. So you can see how easy it is to modify the appearance of graphs and charts inside of Illustrator. I'm going to go to the File menu here and choose Save As. Let's call this one Design 04. Go ahead and click OK. And the beautiful thing about working this way is that I didn't have to ungroup the graphs. That means that each of these graphs are connected to live data. Should I ever modify that data, for example, replace the data with something else or copy and paste new information from Excel into Illustrator, the graph will simply update to reflect those changes.